Hello YouTube and welcome back to What The Math. Today we're looking at Kerbal Space Program and specifically a very very cool topic that is quite mathematical and that's how do you take off from Kerbin very efficiently without wasting too much fuel. And let me show you somewhere right here there's a little cheat sheet space cheat sheet posted space cheat sheet thing that essentially shows you the required speed according to specific altitude. Now it's really hard to remember those numbers so I'm gonna be actually cheating as well and I'm gonna be looking at it at all times and we're gonna use a very simple rocket design to try to reach that specific optimal speed depending on altitude um, using this uh, this very design. And why do we do this? Well here's the thing, if you go too fast, if you're flying too fast, there's too much air pressure and too much air drag so you'll actually lose fuel because air will slow you down. If you're going too slow, if you're moving too slow, there's too much gravity and it's actually pulling your ship too much and so um, you're losing fuel from that. But if you're moving at that specific optimal speed, you are moving fast enough that the gravity that can touch you or basically doesn't touch you just enough and uh, um, air pressure is not enough for you to lose fuel from that. So someone actually calculated how to perfectly get to, um, to space using very specific calculations and very specific speeds uh, for every altitude. So we're going to be using that to try to save as much fuel as possible. Now, I currently have this design, two-stage design that has bottom engine right here, top engine right here. And I'm going to add a couple of boosters because this is Kerbal Space Program. So you must always have more boosters. That's the essentially the slogan of this game. I think this is, is this? Yeah, there we go. That's, this is good enough. Put my boosters here, uh, combine them with these engines and they will separate at some point. Now I currently have 4,756 meters per second. I think that's actually good enough. That I think this is this is enough for me to reach orbit for sure. Or I hope so if I follow the specific guidelines for this optimal speed. Okay, let's do this. Oh right, and here it is. Here's the beautiful rocket. I've decided to actually change my boosters a little bit. I've added an extra one just so that it has this symmetrical design, and so it doesn't actually have this phallic. Uh, symbol that it had going before because it kind of looked too much like a penis and this channel is for families and people underage and so yeah and also this is Jelly Kerman he's ready for a takeoff and basically this is it so this is the rocket I have my cheat sheet ready so one thing you'll notice is that up until about one kilometer you should be going at somewhere below 100 meters per second or actually 100 to 105 meters per second and to do this I actually need to decrease my thrust completely because these boosters are really powerful they're going to be able to reach that speed without my main engine and then um, at 2000 meters per second you should be going at 120 so right now I can actually go a little bit faster there we go and 100 perfect almost 100 almost 100 there we go so now it should be 120 at 3000 should be 130 so i'm actually going to start using my main engine as well uh 130 right here and at 5000 it should be about 160 so 160 at 5000 and i'm only using my boosters now mostly because it's already going really fast um, at 6,000 should be 180, so I'm going to be going a little bit slower, but as you can see my fuel for my solid engines, solid boosters is decreasing pretty fast, so I do need to watch that as well. 7,000 is 200, so just right here, oh, I'm going a little bit too fast, okay. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. Two, okay, 220 for 8,000 should be going a little bit faster, and 260 for 10,000, and this is when I should start turning right as well. So the reason you turn right is because this will give you an extra boost from the spinning of the planet because when you take off, if you turn with the spin of the planet, you'll actually save yourself uh, some extra fuel because this will give you an extra boost of about 150 meters per second. All right, so at uh, 13,000, should be going 350. At 15,425, I'm going just a little bit below that. Should increase my speed a little bit. And at 16,470. 470 perfect now at this point I can actually basically freely blast my engines and my second stage is about to run out of fuel so I'm going to enable my third stage and now there we go and this is when I am going to watch my apoapsis and as soon as this reaches 
about 75 to 80 kilometers i'm going to just stop my engines and right now at this point i'm going at 14 meters uh, 14 kilometers no 1400 meters per second or 1.4 kilometers per second but i don't really have to worry about it right now because all i need to do is circularize my orbit if you go too fast here if you're actually going at the speed uh, mentioned in a cheat sheet chances are you might actually overshoot this a little bit and go into much much higher orbit than you want and to do this to get this i need uh, 1100 almost no so basically just over 1100 meters per second and i have 1400 meters per second so i'm actually good i have just enough fuel to even return to Kerbin. Uh, i need to check my battery my battery is good and perfect so basically all we do now is wait for this moment which is in one minute and something exactly on one minute and then bless my engines for 24 seconds all right here we go so i'm gonna start my blessing my engines i can actually blast full speed ahead and as soon as it's good enough i'm going to stop my engines and here we go 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 and now there we go not perfectly circular but circular enough and i still have just enough fuel to return to Kerbin. And essentially, this is it. So I'm going to take my Geoli Kerman outside. He's going to play outside a little bit. And essentially, this is how you get the optimal possible fuel savings uh, for your rocket. It doesn't really matter what design you use, but as long as you're following these velocities, you will have the most amount of fuel saved. And look at his happy face. This is how happy he is because he saved so much fuel. And fuel is expensive in this game. Actually, no, it's not. Uh, and... Basically, what you have to remember is up until about 15 kilometers, if you follow these specific velocities that are posted right there somewhere, um, if you do follow these velocities, you can definitely um, save as much fuel as possible and your rocket can take off uh, or basically reach the orbit under about 4,800 meters per second. My This rocket had about 4,750 and I still have, let's check how much I have, I still have 345 meters left. So. I basically spent about 4,500 meters per second delta V. And uh, this uh, this also is available in the link in the description below. This is from Wikipedia or I guess Kerbalpedia is what you would call it. But anyway, so I'm going to decrease my orbital speed and return back to Kerbin. Uh, didn't, don't have to go that fast, but basically this is it. Release my last stage and return to Kerbin, deploy my parachute. Actually, I'm going to deploy it right now because I always forget to deploy my parachutes. And this will launch me back into the intercept uh, with atmosphere and I will then land on Kerbin. And while I'm waiting on Kerbin, just to kind of remind you, so easy way to remember this, up until about one kilometer, try to maintain your speed about 100 meters per second. Then up until about seven kilometers, you want to go over that but below 200 so don't go over 200 up until seven kilometers and after this you can slowly start increasing speed up until about 10 kilometers and at 10 kilometers you should be going at about 250 then turn right 45 degrees and uh, this will give you extra boost from the spin of the planet and at 10 kilometers you're going at 260 then start increasing your speed and at 13 kilometers you're going to be going at around 350 kilometers and then increasing your speed up until about 15 kilometers uh, where your speed should be about 400 to 425 meters per second and then you can freely increase your speed uh, as soon as you reach the apple app is of about 70 to 80 kilometers stop your engines then reach the oh look at how beautiful this is i'm surprised the parachutes don't actually rip but uh realistically speaking they would probably rip right now um anyway so and then um at around 70 kilometers, you blast your engine sideways until you reach the orbit that you want. And that's really how you optimally reach orbital uh, orbit, circular orbit around Kerbin using as little fuel as possible. And here we go, landing back on Kerbin, unfortunately in the water, so that's not gonna be fun. Uh, and that's it, so thank you for watching. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. If you're one, of, if you're just like me, if you're one of those people that need to save as much fuel as, as you can so that you can actually reach some other planets afterwards, this is probably one of the best ways of doing this. So make sure to keep track of your fuel, sort of your speed when you're taking off, and you will have the ap optimal savings and optimal uh, velocity. Thank you for watching, and good luck to you. Game you later, alligators. Bye-bye.